Some of you out there are saying, Cycle Cruiser, it's time to sell your MT-07 now. You had your little fun on it. Now it's time to get that Ducati Diavo V4. Maybe it's time to sell my MT-07? Let's go for a ride. Today. But I'm gonna tell you, whatever motorcycle you ride out there, make sure you're wearing the gear because I never leave home without my airbag vest, man. I'm telling you, this can be the difference between walking away from an accident or ending up in a wheelchair or dead, man. I have a link to this awesome airbag vest in the description and comment section of this video along with my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, my most favorite helmet, my gauntlet gloves, jackets, boots, everything. Look, I'm gonna keep it real, the new 2023 Ducati Diablo V4 looks sick and it's faster than the previous generation at 168 horsepower you know there's going to be problems with that bike guys that's a first generation with this new with the V4 in it and the new tech in it no way I'm getting that bike you're going to have problems you're going to be spending time with the dealership on top of that 26 what $27,000 for that bike man when you can get a MT-07 brand new for I paid $9,300 out the door uh, I know a lot of you guys are saying that's crazy man you, you're talking about a bike that does 168 horsepower versus this is 75 horsepower <laughs> cycle cruisy you're out of your mind you're gonna have more fun on a faster bike that's not true guys I had the faster bikes. I had an Aprilia Tuano V4 1100 factory that won the shootout every year. I had a, a, a Ducati X Diablo S liter bike. Um, I had a CBR 1000 RR that's still the logo on my channel. I love that bike. But you know what, guys? This is the number two most fun motorcycle that I've owned next to my, my 2019 YZ450FX Custom Supermoto. This is number one. This thing is a wheelie machine, torque machine, hooligan crazy. You know, when you see me when I get on this bike, I'm a straight hooligan fool. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this is number two out of the 12 motorcycles that I've owned. This is the number two most fun bike. And I know you guys think it's crazy. And, and I own the MT-09. A lot of you guys keep saying, Cycle Cruiser, why don't you get the new MT-09 SP? It's faster than the MT-07, man. I own the MT-09, a 2020, the previous generation, but it's got that the, the triple cylinder engine in it. And I'll tell you, the MT-09, I loved you know, the engine. I love the triple cylinder engine, man. It sounded awesome when it, on the top end, and it, it's quick and everything. But I'm telling you, I hated the chassis. That Fugazi Supermoto chassis on the MT-09, man. Even the new one still got a chassis like that. It's like a fake Supermoto. I love the engine, but hate the chassis. If you took the, C the triple cylinder engine and you put it in the MT-07 chassis, that would be awesome. <laughs> but I'm telling you, the CP2 engine and this, this parallel twin sounds better at, at lower speeds. And it's just as punchy and torquey almost off the line, you know. Yes, the MT-09 may be about a half second quicker or something, but you don't even really notice it that much. This thing is torquey. It's fun. I enjoy it. Riding it on the streets, on the highway, it's fun, man. You don't need to be doing crazy top-end speeds to have fun, guys. I'm telling you, man. It just brings you speeding tickets and just... I'm telling you, riding those fast bikes slow on the street is quite boring, but riding these a quick, lightweight bike like the MTL7 is awesome. I'm not getting rid of this bike, guys. The, it, this YZ450FX Custom Supermoto and the MTL7 are going to be staples in this garage. These two, I may get, I'm gonna get other bikes, but these two bikes stay. Now, I wanted to tell you guys is that I want to add a third motorcycle, and I know you're going to think I'm crazy, but I want to add a super bike to the garage. It's been a long time since I had one. The last super bike I owned was a CBR 1000 double R. But I want to do some track days. But not only that, I, it's just on occasion, I'm like, you know what? It's cool. I miss that stretched out feeling, the race position, and ripping the throttle and having fun with it. And so I'm telling you, it's cool to have a bike for how you feel on a certain particular day. 
It's nice to have the different types of motorcycles. I got my Surron X over here that has some electric fun on the trails off road. Got my YZ Supermoto to act a fool hooligan bus wheelies and act a fool go anywhere. And then the MTL7, this is like my cruiser right here, man. Like my quick cruiser with the awesome sound and just throw this little bike around and it just feels good. And, and then I, I want to add, maybe get the super bike. So when I'm feeling crazy, get on my bike stretched out in the race position, rip that throttle, crank it on the highway. Hyper boost on! <laughs> and, and have fun with it whenever I want. I, so I'm telling you, you got to collect motorcycles. I'm in the collection mode now, guys. I want to get rid of this bad boy here so I can fit about three more motorcycles up in here. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I want you to leave a comment below and let me know what super bike should I get because I'm thinking about getting either like a BMW S1000 RR new 2023 or the Ducati Patagalli V4S, the new 2023. Um, or what should I get? Leave a comment what you think I should get. Or maybe you think I should get another CVI 1000 RR or a triple R, should I say. So I don't know what super bike you think. And leave a comment below. I'm gonna tell you this, man. You gotta get you an MTL7, baby. <laughs> if you haven't seen the build series I did on all the mods I did, I have a link to that playlist in the top right corner, man. I put that awesome, uh, in my opinion, the best exhaust you can put on here, the Kropovich Carbon uh, full racing exhaust. I took the baffle out, thing sounds absolutely epic, man. <laughs> I took this bike from 406 pounds down to 388 pounds, man. It's crazy. This thing is lightweight, dude. This is 140 pounds less than the Ducati Diavo V4. And I'm telling you, you're going to have more fun on this than you would a Diablo V4, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you won't be worrying if you ever drop it or anything happens to it. It's cheap to replace. This side here, $43 here, guys, for this. You drop this and this gets scratched up. This is a tank cover with the beauty about the MTL 7s. You don't have a tank you got to uh, empty and, 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 and replace and spend a ton of money on like the Diablos. Um, this one, you just re replace this side here, $43. Three bucks, guys. You know what I'm saying? Ultra reliable. You don't even need to get an extended warranty on it like you do the Ducatis. Um, it's punchy, torquey, and, and just such a fun and one of the best sounding motorcycles. I'm t I love this bike. I, and I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't expect to like this bike as much as I do. Love it. I love it. Anyways, Hit thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell symbol so you get notified of my videos. And I release my new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Stay tuned. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.